Good evening from London. Airtel Africa was one of the largest rises on the FTSE 100 earlier today after the telecoms giant announced that its smart cash payment service bank had begun operations in Nigeria. The expanded service is intended to operate in rural areas and in communities that do not have access to banking services. Sweden and Finland's NATO application represents a radical redrawing of Europe's security landscape and represents the most significant expansion of the defence alliance in decades. Despite Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan expressing reservations about the two nations joining, the US ambassador to NATO has said the military group is trying to expedite the joining process. Abandoning centuries of military non-alignment is a worrying prospect for many citizens living in the region, with some people taken to the streets of the Swedish capital to condemn the action. Glenn Hodgson, the CEO of Free Trade Europa, who's based in Stockholm, spoke with me about his thoughts during a recent visit to London. You know, the policy has been very similar since the beginning of the 19th century. Neutrality, not getting involved in conflicts, not, to, not picking sides. Um, this changed a little bit in the 2000s with sort of uh, the, because the European commitments. But this is a massive sea change. I personally think that sometimes throwing gasoline on the fire at difficult times cannot end well. I think provocation in difficult times has to be thought about one, two, three times. And also such a massive change. This is probably something that should have been taken to uh, the, the population in terms of a referendum, not just an administrative decision. This is fundamental and it doesn't sit very well with me, I must admit. We come to a situation, it wasn't just humanitarian aid, it was actually sending weapons from the beginning because of this ratcheting up of the, of, of the, of the the, the narrative, but also in terms of actions as well, Juliana. It felt like, you know, that we're not far away from a very hot situation. Uh, I just hope we have politicians who are keeping cool heads and not just making a bad situation even worse. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.